part. Orlando, you know, I mean, it's, they're, they're all Republicans. You know, if somebody listens to what what Trump says, his actual points that he's you know, in between his the garbage, what he wants to do, a lot of it is, is not radical. Well, that's why the Republicans were not happy with him as their nominee, because they said he's really not a conservative. OK, we really don't know what he believes in. Uh, I think he's less of a conservative than anybody else who was on the stage. OK, those 17 candidates, he was the least conservative. OK, um, and, and that's why Paul, uh, Paul Ryan and Mitch McConnell and uh, uh, Daryl Issa and uh, Coburn and all the rest of the uh, big shots in the Republican Party were not very keen on endorsing him because they're all conservatives and they have a different way of thinking when it comes to running the country. Well, you know, I was listening to... Uh... I mean, he believes in single-payer health care, which is exactly what well, Bernie I wanted. No, I don't remember him saying that, but he does believe in entitlements. Yeah. But not single-care health care. Well, I don't know. I think he comes closer than any... Well, he comes closer than any of the Republicans who are running to single-payer. So he's looking at a health savings plan. I'm not sure how those work, though. That's what they're saying today. But I know nothing about the health savings plans. It's, listen, it's, everybody's got to go towards the, towards the middle a little bit more. And he is already going towards the middle with the, without being pushed. You know, uh, we haven't played any songs at all today. So we're going to go ahead and see what our friends from uh, iPluggers have for us to plug today. And we'll have a music critic give us her opinion. Play something mellow. She's had a tough day. Oh. <laughs> a tough two, a tough, tough two tomorrow. days. Yeah. Okay. Let's see who we got. Okay. Hmm. He's having a tough time picking out a song here, folks. Ugh. I guess the people didn't offer him enough money. A little payola. You remember the scandal okay, back in the 50s? Okay, let's see what this is. Oh, that, 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 that looks good already. Fabiana Rodriguez, Rodriguez from Brazil. For Paola, Mr. I will play your song. Fabiana. For Paola, I'm sure that we can get along. For Paola, I assume it's not going to be on, in English, grand. but let's see what she sounds like. Vamos Casar. Who? Vamos is let's go. Yeah, I know. What's the other word?
just cut off. I got to tell you, folks, I really love that beat. You know, you can almost feel like you're in Puerto Rico. Let me she's tell you. She's not Puerto Rico. She's Brazilian. Yeah, except that they did say something at the end about did. Puerto Rico. They did, yeah. You know, I mean, uh, I really enjoyed it. But it sounded like she was talking in Yiddish when she says, oi, oi, oi. <laughs> what can I tell you? Anyway. And, um, what, and what was your, car, your any comments about oi, oi, oi? I loved it. Did you? I really liked of course. it. Of I love that kind of music. I really liked it. Well, I tell you I what I'm going to do. I'm going to start a little bit of religion Vanessa talk here. Vanessa's doing a show and she's dancing to a song like that. Who? Samantha. She's doing, she's got oh. her tap <laughs> show in two weeks at school and they, they, uh, they're actually one of their dances is to a song like that. Uh, okay, I don't know how you could do a tap to that, but uh... no, that one I think is that one I think is jazz or zumba, something like. That. I think they do zumba to that one. More like a, a mambo, almost. No, not quite. Uh, a rumba, a rumba. You'll see it on Facebook in two weeks. A rumba or something, but as I, as I and said before, it's preserved. It's, uh, it's uh, the, I mean, it's Latin music. I don't know. Well, as I said before, you I know, think I'm, I think they do zumba to that. I'm pretty sure because she does a zumba and tap. Oh, you know who would know? My buddy Joel. He takes zumba lessons, but I don't think he's listening anymore. Uh, I, I don't see him go off. What? I didn't see him go off. Well, that was his last comment. That doesn't mean he's listening anymore. No, you so. can tell when people go off. Oh. Well, anyway, uh, he does Zumba. He and his wife do Zumba. You know, they do... I, let me tell I you, they uh, they do a lot of dancing. They do um, West Coast... What we used to call the Lindy, which is West Coast Swing Dancing... Or something like that, mm-hmm. L.A. swing dancing. Mm-hmm. Back in the fifties, it was like I say, the Lindy, um, and his wife is a fantastic dancer. You know, my in-laws were very into when they, that. they they really cut a rug when they dance. You know, and then when they're finished with one dance, he'll sit down because she's tired, and she'll just grab uh, the next guy that's next to her. She's got a lot of friends, and then they start dancing. You know, Janice said it's salsa. Jan- oh, Janet's listening? Okay, Joel, Joel that's and just- Janet on. Yeah. Janet, yeah, it is salsa. That's right. Okay. Thank you, buddy. 
uh, our uh, experts when it comes to oh, and we got Mary on tonight. Thank you for coming back, Mary. I guess you don't like calling, huh? And she said she didn't from well, last week. Did she ever remember? No, she said she doesn't like the call, but she said she doesn't like the call. She said that last week. Okay, what do I remember? She was the one who said, I was so close to accepting Jesus into my life, but I wouldn't make that final step. No, her? She has accepted Jesus. I didn't say her. I said me. Oh. She said that about me. Oh. But I I did say that I was going to share some of my notes from this Jewish 101 from the uh, Jewish broadcasting system. And I have to tell you, um, I have a bunch of notes. It may not make much sense. It's not in any set order, but... uh, if anybody wants to chime in with, uh, you know, comments, please feel free to do so. We all know that Adam was the first man. And Adam itself, his name means first man. Okay, Adama in Hebrew means land. And Dam means blood. In fact, it's one of the ten plagues of Passover. Dom, Tzifadea, etc. And that's blood. So, when... Jesus' blood, when Jesus was crucified on the cross, okay, seeped into the ground underneath Golgotha, okay, that blood dripped down and it brought Adam back to life, okay, that's how Christians believe that Jesus' death opened up heaven for all those souls who came before, so it started with Adam, And it brought Adam back to life. And in fact, the place where the blood dripped beneath the cross is called the tomb of Adam. If you go underground, if you're ever in Israel and you go underground, that's called the tomb of Adam. Okay. Uh, We talked about, he talks about the Torah and the Torah or the laws, the 613 laws... Uh, the five books of Moses, they call it. Uh, Judaism teaches people how to be a mensch. A mensch is a loving, gentle, caring human being. Okay, to care about your fellow human being. Uh, and these are things that are learned in the Torah. Okay. Um, he also talks about, the rabbi I'm talking about, talks about when the Hebrews uh, left Egypt, okay, and they came to the waters of the Red Sea, all right? The people were complaining to Moses about bringing them to face a certain death because supposedly there were wild beasts to the left and the right of them. Don't ask me where the wild beasts come from. And in front of them, they had the waters of the Red Sea. Now, the Midrash, you hear me talk about that a lot. The Midrash is the rabbinic interpretation and commentary on the Bible. It's what the rabbis, how the rabbis interpret various passages in the Bible. Okay? And the Midrash explains that God will never interfere in natural occurrences. He will never cause natural occurrences. Okay? What happens is God tells Moses to tell the Hebrew people to move forward. And they're all standing there like, what are you, crazy? Move forward. You want us to go in certain death. Well, a prince from the tribe of Oh, I don't know. Where's Nachshom here? Uh, Aaron's brother-in-law, Nachshom, is a prince of the tribe of Judah. And he takes it upon himself to start walking into the Red Sea. And he got as far as the water was up to his nose. And all of a sudden, the Red Sea parted, having nothing to do with Moses raising his staff or anything like that. And the Midrash explains it that Nachshom could not swim, but because Nachshom had...